Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we are going to give you a little behind the scenes look in the shipping department here at dependableflame.com. Sold, uh, I believe, a total of five lighters overnight four of them all to one person so those will be able to be shipped together but we'll take a quick look here at in progression of those five lighters and I'm going to show you exactly how you can expect to receive a package when you buy something from our eBay store uh, you're going to see exactly the care that I take with each one and it's something that I believe a lot of eBay sellers, especially lighter sellers, could use to take a little bit of uh, a note and a lesson from because most of them just simply throw them in a sandwich bag or maybe wrap them in some uh, tissue paper or something like that. A lot of times they really don't take much care. But it's something that I have done from day one and I will continue to. Each one of them is going to be individually bubble wrapped. If it gets to where I can't get a hold of these little bubble wrap sleeves anymore, then I will cut the bubble wrap to fit the little Ziploc bags out of the smaller, or I'm sorry, out of the larger bubble uh, mailers that I get discounted from uh, the eBay shipping supplies so I've got plenty of those around I won't have any problem getting these ladders protected whether there's a bubble wrap shortage or not so each one goes inside of two of those little sleeves the way I'm currently doing it and then once they're inside those little sleeves then they're going to go inside the larger Oh, I don't know. It's about a two by three Ziploc bag that just fits it perfectly. And then normally from there, I will insert a couple of business cards. And sometimes I will write a little note there on the back of one of those cards to the buyer not always if you get something from me and I don't leave a note then don't take offense it's not like I do it every time it is something I've been doing more often here recently but once I get all those packages ready there or all those lighters laid out there and ready to be packaged up then I go ahead and I'll start I'm still using some old business cards so I'm making corrections from my old address to my new address uh, my actual physical address where I am shipping the lighter from and where you know things get shipped to me the first thing that I do when a lighter sells is leave feedback and then of course also I'm going to include a flyer promoting HDSA that's Huntington's Disease Society of America uh, I've talked about that at length elsewhere it's a disease that is very um, a cause that is very near and dear to my heart a disease that claimed my father you can see here the corrections that I've made on the business card so I'm gonna keep doing that until they run out which is pretty soon I only have I don't know a few hundred of them left and then I usually write that little note there on the back of the card that's where I was speaking of so then you get a little packet there with each lighter and you know the uh, when it's a single lighter then that's going to go inside of a couple of bubble mailers when it's multiples then you'll see we're going to put it in a box but I'm always going to when it's just a single lighter then I'm going to wrap it in that HDSA flyer sort of like you would expect to get your sandwich at Subway or Jimmy John's or wherever it's a particular way I fold it and then I'm going to 
put that in there to where when you pull it out it says what is Huntington's disease this is just one of the ways along with the penny start auctions the three of those that we do every month and then along with the 10% of every sale from our eBay store these are all just ways uh, that I'm trying to spread and raise awareness for HDSA and their cause to help those families that have been affected by that horrible disease. Once we get that all packaged up, then I will go ahead and hop here on my iPad is usually where I print my um, my labels at. Still haven't been able to get my Dymo 4XL label working with my iMac, so just air printing over to the little uh oh i can't even remember now what brand uh canon i believe is the, pick, uh, the uh, printer that i'm currently using so i have to cut those out and tape them on it's not that big a deal it's kind of a pain in the butt but it'd be a lot easier if i could just pull this pull the labels off and stick them on like i can with my dymo but instead you can see here i just lay them out and I'm careful, you know, you don't really want to tape over the barcode or your postage or things like that because those are scannable. So I do leave those free, otherwise everything else gets taped over and it gets taped very securely. Uh, not just the label getting on it, but then of course the um, seam where you uh, seal it at and then make sure that it is... Um, got support with tape across the back as well um, I don't really waste my time or uh, effort I put plenty of tape on there and um, I make sure that there's no way that that package is going to get uh, going to come open before it gets to you so anyway you can see how it was double bubbled inside its own little container then it goes into a bubble container and then inside another bubble container this is if you order a single lighter from me then this is the way it's going to come and like i said i get that seam good and taped down nice and tight uh, all the way to the edges make sure that it's not going to come loose or it can't just be peeled off by accident I hear all kinds of uh, horror stories about trying to mail lighters over in uh, Europe in the Royal Mail and whatever other kind of mail services that they have over there, especially Great Britain, I believe. Um, they confiscate them. I guess they look at them all as fire makers and, and uh, not worth the effort or the trouble or, you know, like you're trying to mail gasoline or perfume or or a bottle of whiskey anyway we're not mailing anything like that here just uh, lighters that don't have fuel in them um, they would spark but that is no danger in the mail without the fuel so now I'm going to go ahead and these four lighters that this other gentleman bought I have Put them all in a box by themselves and now I'm also including this uh, one of the lighters that he bought was that Ronson Adonis and it's not the original box or anything but I'm including that just because I thought he might enjoy it and uh, you know it's got some original literature and tools and a bag and so anyway uh, I, it wasn't advertised with the lighter or anything like that but I don't have anything better to do with it and I thought that he might enjoy it so I'm including it. So you can see there how I've taken care to um, form the bubble wrap around all that so that nothing has undue pressure on it. Then I'm going to get that all packed in real nice and neat. Get my HD flyer fold it up right there to where right in the front it says what is Huntington's disease. So that when this customer gets it, then uh, he will be aware of what Huntington's disease is in any way. Or at least, uh, you know, he will have been able to have been aware if he decides to read it. 
And I certainly don't begrudge anyone who takes that piece of paper and throws it away. Uh, I'm just using it to let you know um, sort of the inspiration behind this business and um, the cause that uh, is integral and has been from day one. So we get that packed up all nice and tight and it's not shaking around loose in there or anything like that. So it feels snug. We'll go ahead and get our label cut out and taped on the box. We're closing in on an hour since I started this video. So I definitely might have edited out a break or distraction or two. But you get the gist of it. Until next time.